Welcome back to Mini Monologue. This week it's Guild Ball again, and as I said in the news video earlier in the month, I'm going to do you an unboxing of Brain Pan and Memory. At the end of the video, once I've glued him together, and I've done the unboxing and shown you all those bits and his card and what have you, I'm going to want your opinion. And what I want your opinion on is who I should drop for Brain Pan and Memory. I'll show you my team, show you who I normally take, and I want your advice who I should drop. So on to the unboxing, and then I'll show you my models. So here's Brain Pan and Memory, let's open the box. So first off you get the cards, which are there. Um, you get one for each model, let's swap them over, because then they're in the right order. So you get one for each model, Brain Pan and Memory. And of course you get the back card, which I tend to keep, so I quite like keeping the artwork. I'll go through all their character plays and so forth later on in the video. So let's have a look at the models. So you get a base each for each one. And for Brain Pan, he comes virtually put together. You've only got to add his two arms. And it's the same for memory, which is great. Quite easy to put together. So I'll bob him there. And that's everything that comes in the box. So you get your two cards, two models, four arms, and the back. I'll go through the card information in just a moment. And I'll show you the rest of my morticians. Now I've got the full set. So here is Brain Pan's card. He's got a move of 5-7, um, tack 3, kick of 2-6, defence 4, armour 1, and he's influence 2-4. So he's got three character plays, which are I'm Open, Puppet Show, and Pulling the Strings, two of which involve memory. So I'm Open is a cost of 2, range of 6 inches, it's once per turn. And it's target friendly model that immediately makes a pass which targets this model without spending influence. So you can quickly pass to Brain Pan in a turn use if someone else has got the ball helping you with ball control. Puppet Show. So target friendly memory model may take an attack without spending influence or may make a two inch dodge. So you can help move memory about or send him in for a, an attack. And that's got an eight inch range, which is quite big and can be used as many times as I want because it's not once per turn. Pulling the strings though is once per turn and it's target friendly memory again. May make a kick without spending influence. So that can be quite useful as well. So he's got 14 life and he tackles on one which is quite good as momentous tackle. So I'll turn it over. On the back you've got two character traits which are thought which is involving memory again. The start of this model's activation, if the friendly name model is suffering the taken out condition, remove the, the, the taken out condition from the friendly name model and place it within two inches of the model with full HP, which means you can get memory back quite easily. One, two, memory. When this model makes a pass that, that targets the friendly name model, this model gains plus two, plus two kick for the duration of the pass. If the friendly model makes a teamwork action as a result of this pass, it may spend one less MP to do so. So pretty good for actually trying to score. So it looks like these guys are actually used for passing up field and messing around with the ball as they've done before. So I'll just pop Brain Pan's card over there and then I'll bring in Memories. So here's Memories. He's more the player you want to use. He's got a lot of momentous um, results on his playbook. One damage, two damage, three damage, as well as dodges. Um, he's a naught naught move so you do need Brain Pan to help him move really so that's that's interesting. He's tack 5 though and a kick of 3-4 and he's defence 5 which makes him pretty tough but he's only got 3 life. Anyway, moving on to character traits because he doesn't have any plays. He can be benched which is this model can not be selected for a team unless you've got Brain Pan. So you need Brain Pan for memory to even come on the pitch. Control strings. At the start of each other friendly guild model's activation the model will make a 2 inch dodge. So that's how he moves a bit more. Inanimate object. This model does not have an activation. This model does not generate VP when it suffers the taken out condition, which means he also doesn't generate victory points. So your you, opponent can't just beat mem memory up every five minutes and win, which is <laughs> pretty good. So those are the two cards. I'll now put the models together, show you them made, made up with the rest of my team, and also show you where my team's up to both painted and what I use on a regular basis when I play games. 
So here's brain pan and memory completed. Harder of the two is actually brain pan with his thin arms. So I'll just do a quick spin round and then I'll show you my whole team. So here's the morticians as a whole. At the moment I use Obulus, Cosset, Gast, Dirge, Silence and Bonesaw as my main lineup. And I'm looking to possibly change one of those for brain pan and memory. But I also need to try out Silence a bit more and also get maybe one of the graves in on one of the games. They're in various stages of painting and basing and I've been playing these since I started playing Guild Ball so I've got a love for them and always want to get every model that comes out so that's the whole team so that was the brain pan and memory unboxing i hope you enjoyed it like i said i'm sort of stuck on these six as my main core for my morticians team so i need to work out who i'm going to swap out for brain pan and memory any suggestions do put them in the comments below sticking with guild ball for the next few weeks we've got the unboxing of veteranox coming and also the unboxing of quaff but in other news i'm also going to be at vengeance vengeance is a tournament hosted by gbij at the northwest gaming center and I hope to get some footage of some games for you, as well as some interviews hopefully with both Jay and other people who happen to be there from the Guild Ball scene in Manchester. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.